state. Okay, today we're going to demonstrate um, replacing the batteries for the digital gauge on the model 1505D, uh, 605D, or a 1515D or 615D. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove there's four screws on the outer edges. We're going to remove those. If the model, if the instrument's a 615D or a 1515D, the screws that we're, that we're going to remove are on the outer edge. And there's again four of them. We want to take care not to remove any of the other screws that are here that hold the gauge or the chamber in place. And these will be the tools that we're going to use. We just need a couple of flathead screwdriver and a couple of extra batteries to do that with. So now I will remove this with a flathead screwdriver. Just carefully loosen that. Once we have that removed, next thing, step is we're just going to um, pull the chamber, the instrument, out of the case there. And the next step will be is, if you can see there's a locking and an unlocking, we're simply going to take this, grab it, and unlock the back of the gauge, lift it up. You can see that there's a bit of an O-ring seal around there. And that o-ring seal is used to keep the inside of the gauge dry and moisture free. Then we're going to use a you can use a little um, screwdriver or something just to pop those loose. Take out those batteries, and then we're just going to replace it with the uh, negative end down at the spring. Pop the new ones in, and then you're again just gonna bring this back in and align it there. Press this down, and then we're just gonna twist and lock it. The new battery's in there. We come back here, slide the instrument back into place, and then we will just take and just want to make sure you line it up well. So you don't cross thread those, just kind of maybe start them with your fingers. And then those are just going to be screwed back in. They don't have to go very tight, just tight enough to hold it in firmly. check here and it we show it's already off so we know we have a good battery source there but if you weren't sure you could go ahead and um, turn it on and run it through its cycle and check and see how your batteries are and, and the uh, new battery uh, how much uh, source there is there you can see we got a full charge on that and that's it